Hey, this is Dash Roll Rush. I'm talking to my friend Tag over AIM. Say hi, Tag. Hi. Hey, so, uh, we're going to talk about E3 some more because we can't, we just can't get enough of that, no can we, huh, Tag? Huh? Okay, so, uh, I already did kind of my thing on YouTube, uh, so you want to, you, you start us off, okay? Uh, alright. Um, how should I start off? Any way you want. Uh, alright. Um, I guess I'll start with something simple. Uh, out of the three, you know, big presentations, you know, the, out of the three big press conference, you know, Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft, which one would you say was, you know, the best? Um, hard to say. And I know it's a kind of, a uh, you know, obvious, it, like well, a generic question, but, you know. Yeah, but, uh, like, m the fanboy in me has to say Nintendo. I think, the, like, the three games they presented, uh, you know, the three big games, really, you know, hit some, uh, hit, hit my marks, and, uh, really like that. Uh, like, PR-wise, I guess, uh, I have to say Microsoft was the slickest. And, um, yeah. like, and, but I think Sony, uh, had the most games. Like, Sony definitely was yeah. the best, but I don't really care about that because, like I said, I has no PlayStations. Oh, well. Yeah, so, uh, what about you? Um, in my opinion, well, to be quite honest, I think all three of them did, good, did a good enough job where I really can't decide which one did the best. Uh. I mean... Uh, like, for example, you've got the uh, new Metal Gear coming out for the 360. You said it wrong. It's Metal Gear. Okay. You have to uh, say it in a the, really bad snake the new Metal voice. Gear, com the new Metal Gear <laughs> coming out for the 360. <coughs> and it's coming up, isn't, it, isn't there one coming out for the PS3, too? Uh, same one, Metal Gear Rising. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. And so you got those two coming up, those two consoles, so that's a good thing. And then you also got, like, you know, as you mentioned, the, the new games coming up from Nintendo. And I feel that, you know, with what all three of them has to offer, I think they all did a good job. Uh-huh. Yeah. And, you know, to be quite honest, the one that I felt did a bad job, you know, not, not with just the three Ubisoft? games that I was talking about out of all, out of all the press conferences, was EA. EA? I, I missed that one. How did that go? Well, there wasn't too much interesting stuff. I mean, they had that Star Wars game. Mm -hmm. um, I think the one place they screwed up, though, was the way they started out. Ah. Because you... Okay. They are coming out with, if I heard correctly, Littlest Pet Shop MMO. To put it blunt. To put it simply. The fuck? What do you level up? I don't know. What are you doing? Okay. I, I, I don't know. It, it's, it's a littlest pet shop massive multiplayer online. Uh, did you see Ubisoft's? Uh, yes, I did see Ubisoft's. <coughs> Ubisoft it was, was horrible. Uh, wasn't that? No, it actually, I don't think it was that bad. Okay, no, no, this is what Ubisoft was for me. Hi, I am the French man, and we are going to talk about French things for two, for you know, twenty minutes. And then after twenty minutes, hi, I'm James Cameron, and I want to talk about my movie without showing any pictures for almost an hour. <coughs> All right, all right, I'll admit that, that part okay, was... Okay, so now that James Cameron's is done, let's talk about tween games, okay, guys? We're going to talk about all the tween games coming out. And then Assassin's Creed 2. Yeah, well, I think Assassin's Creed 2 was... I don't know, I mean... It did do something. I mean, it made it not completely suck, in my, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, there was also the... the, the uh, Rayman, the rabbits game. Yeah. And I mean, the, like, the Wii stuff Compared to was... some of the, the earlier ones, you know, which I personally didn't... But when I saw, it really didn't look too, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? It, it wasn't... Deep? Amazing. 
ah. or stun. Okay. And in this uh, this new Raging Rabbits game, you know, it, it looks pretty interesting. I mean, it's not all party stuff. Yeah, it uh, has a goal, a focus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, anything else you'd like to talk about? Um. Oh, one thing I, I wanna I wanna know. Do you know if because uh, Capcom said they had these two mystery games that were going to be there. One of them was Tetsunoku vs. Capcom coming to the U.S. I know, I can't uh, wait I for that. I forgot to mention that in my E3 uh, thing, but yeah, can't wait for yeah. that either. Well, yeah, and then there was one other. I don't know if they announced it. Uh, let me... Well, I'd like, I'd like to find out. Okay. We're almost halfway through. Well, actually, we're past halfway through. We're in six minutes now, so we gotta hurry up and finish everything. Okay. Um... Well, I can say I can safely say that um, this E3 was easily better than last year's. Yeah, at least for Nintendo. For, for everyone. Y well, for Nintendo and, and especially Sony. for Nintendo. Yeah. Okay. Um. I mean, I mean, come on. Last year, what, what did we get? Like Wii music. Yeah, last year was and definitely. Like, I, I think if I recall correctly, there was only one good game that was mentioned. And that was Animal Nintendo Crossing. Back. Uh, actually, the game I had in mind was uh, Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars. Oh uh, yeah, but that was a third party, and that guy was like, "Oh, know, by the way." In general, well, if you want, if you want to talk about specifically Nintendo, I guess you could say Animal Crossing. But overall, I feel like the one really big good game they had was Grand Theft Auto, and nobody cared about it. That's the sad part. Well, no, a lot of people cared, just didn't sell at all. No, I, I mean, no, I'm talking about initially after E3. No one was really talking about it. Oh, yeah. There was all talk about Wii Music and how stupid it was. Yeah. Um, anything else you'd like to talk about? Otherwise, uh... Um... um no, not too much. Okay. Not, not really, no. Okay, well, we still have about two minutes, so, uh, while you're here, talk about yourself a little. How, what are you like as a gamer? What's, what do you like, Fabs? I mean, Tag. Uh, all right. If, uh, okay, I'm tagged. Uh, well, my personal favorite video game franchise out of all my, would be, um, Mega Man. You know, I, ever since I first played Mega Man, which was actually, we, which was actually only, um, 97, no, 8, 8, I believe. Um, when I first played Mega Man 8, you know, I thought it was awesome. And I looked into Mega Man, I thought it was really cool, and I, you could say I became a Mega Man fanboy. Now, um, I like Nintendo, um, Sega, Capcom, obviously. Um, yeah. That's it? I guess so. And, uh... That's all that comes to mind at the moment. Okay, and, um, you know, also while you're here, how are you, uh, with the setting up the m video capture for our video game commentary, or is that a bridge to nowhere? I uh, guess the latter. Ah. Uh. I mean, I, I have it working, obviously, but... Okay, uh, cool. Uh, so, uh, anything else you'd like to say? We have about a minute left. Uh, what's up? Uh, Everybody? nothing. <laughs> okay, so, uh, we're done here, right? I guess so. Okay, um, post your comments and do your, you know, do your stuff after this video's end. And we are ending in three, two, one.